Edition of Surf Scene by Dream Team. Team members Madison Lewis, Jacqueline Keone, Robert Richardson, Haley Miller, and Anna Miza. Welcome to Surf Scene. Surf Scene is a leading beachwear and souvenir shopping destination located on Clearwater Beach, Florida. It is one of the most well-known shops in the area due to their friendly staff and merchandise. The shop is operated by four employees named Brian, Dustin, Kate, and Angel. Surf scene is starting to fall apart as suspicious activity is occurring in the store. No one knows who is behind all the badness, and it causes some staff to be on edge. They try to find out who the culprit is behind the suspicious activity by working as a team and staying alert. One staff member is even offered a deal by the culprit to keep quiet. Target audience. Anyone in the workforce between the ages of 20 to 50 years old. Dream Team will dive into various management concepts such as arisal of conflicts, department collaboration, and general roles, and general ethics, communication and negotiation, classical decision making, and managerial problem solving. Here are our characters of Surf Scene. Brian is a store manager at Surf Scene. He's a great leader and a model citizen. He is a good communicator and his problem solving skills are top notch. He has led the Clearwater Surf Scene location to be the best store in the region. Angel is assistant manager. He is liked by his co-workers and customers because of his laid-back personality. He is easy to get along with but struggles financially. He is a single father of four and tries to do the best he can. Dustin is employee at Surf Scene. He tries to work as much as he can so he can pay for his tuition at USF. He is known by his employees for being easy to talk to and very approachable. Under pressure, he might crack, and that is his biggest downfall. Kate is the newest key holder at Surf Scene. She's communicative, self-motivated, honest, and responsible. She has a problem-solving mindset and acts as a leader. Mark is Kate's boyfriend. He is known to be a pretty easygoing guy and quite outgoing among people who know him best. He loves Kate but wants to make a decision that is best for both of them, and he gives Kate advice on what to do. Preview of Episodes 4 and 6 Episode 4, Communication and Negotiation. Kate confronts Angel in the office regarding his suspicious activity. Angel tells Kate that the reason he did the false returns is due to the financial issues he's currently facing. He offers half of the money to Kate if she keeps the situation a secret. Kate is unsure whether to accept Angel's offer and keep his secret or to tell Brian about the situation. Kate shows her ability to see the magnitude of consequences as she was having an ethical dilemma. Kate could potentially lose her job if she keeps the secret and it comes out one day, but she could also use the money to pay her student loans. Kate ultimately determines that the risk of losing her job is not worth the stolen money she would receive from Angel. Episode 6, Spindural Problem Solving Brian is alone in his office contemplating the repercussions for Angel's actions that have been brought to his attention. Brian is faced with making a decision and does not know if he should base it off the efficiency perspective, the concept that a manager's responsibility is to maximize profits for the owners of the business. Brian understands that Angel has broken the code of ethics, a formal settlement that outlines types of behaviors that are and are not acceptable. Brian is then faced with a difficult decision and tries to focus on the moral standing of Angel's actions, regardless of the consequences that may arise from it. Using the moral rights approach, focusing on examination of the moral standing of actions independent of their consequences. Brian uses a universal approach as well in this episode, which is choosing a course of action that you believe can apply to all people under all situations. Brian realizes that his decision should follow the company's expectations and guidelines. Here is a highlight of episode 4 and episode 6. Wow. He could give me half of the money and I will finally buy a new car and go to college next semester. But I don't want to do anything bad that could harm me or surf scene in the long run. Also, I don't want to disappoint Brian who has entrusted me this position. This is a really hard decision. Here to talk. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, I think I know exactly why I'm here. I'm very disappointed in your actions. First, you rang in false returns to steal from the company, and then you tried to make the deal with another employee to bring them down with you. I know. I don't know what I was thinking. I truly am sorry. I regret my actions deeply. Why did you try to steal from the company instead of just talking to me about the problems you were facing? 
conclusion. Group conclusion. As a group, we have realized that management occurs everywhere. This project has taught us that we are all our own managers in our life, school, and families. We are the ones who decide what is best for us individually and sometimes even run into complications on the way. One does not need to have the title of manager because we are the ones in control of our own destiny. Constructing Xerxene, we have had to put ourselves in management positions to create this television show. Each group member shared their opinions on what direction we should take moving forward in each episode. By planning, deciding, and evaluating, we were able to agree on what we wanted our television show to display. As managers, we have realized that our interpersonal and communication skills are crucial in completing this project. Completing this project, we are able to understand management better and what it takes to be a manager. Recommendations for future students. Communicate with your group as soon as possible. Exchange numbers, emails, and discuss everyone's schedule earlier than later. And you also want to set deadlines within the group that are realistic for every group member. Setting deadlines will help in preventing last-minute scrambling. You do not want to get behind in this project, and you want to set earlier deadlines than the assigned due date. You also want to assign sections of the project to each group member, and you want to pick one group member to be the team leader so the group will not get behind. You also want to read the professor's feedback given under each milestone to make improvements before the final project is due. And most importantly, be creative. The way you display your project is up to you and your group members, so have fun with it. Now, let's meet Dream Team. First, we have Jacqueline. She's pursuing a bachelor's in accounting. She's responsible for being the project manager and for playing the role of Mark in this television series. Then we have Madison. She's pursuing a bachelor's degree in marketing. Her responsibilities include being team leader and playing the role of Brian. Robert, he's pursuing a bachelor's in accounting. His responsibilities include being project manager and playing the role of Mark. Haley, she's pursuing a bachelor's in marketing. Responsibilities include being the monitor and evaluator manager as well as assisting in the development of the characters Kate and Angel. Then we have Anna. She's pursuing a bachelor's in accounting. Her responsibilities include being the illustrator and animation manager and playing the role of Kate in surf scene. Group Reflections. Jacqueline Keone. Overall, as a group and individuals, we worked very hard to complete this project as efficiently and effectively as possible. Once our group was formed, we all chose specific jobs and roles we were going to do throughout the project to help set us up for success. I believe communication was our biggest struggle because of only being able to rely on group text we set up or communicating through Canvas since it was too difficult for our group to meet in person. My contribution to the group has consisted of creating, maintaining, and editing episode 3, working on the character of Brian and his character profile, creating the initial storyboard, for the series, since we use my idea, and the target audience on the booklet section in my reflection. Madison Lewis. Reading the syllabus, I was a little hesitant about this group project since this class is fully based online. I understand that everyone has lives outside of this class and some are busier than others. As weeks pass by, we were able to figure out a way to communicate better through text. We found out that communicating through text is better than communicating on Canvas. Working in a group, I had to learn how to stay patient and not expect everything to be done on, at the same exact time. Taking on the role of team leader, I figured out a way to set deadlines that give all of us a reasonable amount of time to get our work in by. Sometimes it is hard deciding on what group member does what because we are unable to meet in person because we all live in different areas. I think this project is very important because as managers, we are supposed to be organized, plan ahead, and be ready for anything that comes our way. My contribution to this project was being team leader, playing the character Dustin, being the voice behind the project, and responsible for episode 1 and 7. Robert Richardson Over the course of the semester, we have all worked extremely hard for this class and project. We have all contributed many hours individually and as a team, depending on what needed to be done. There were some challenges in the beginning with communication, but for the most part, that was resolved rather early on. 
Other issues were just normal online class issues, such as relying on text message or email to communicate. While this is an online class, I feel that this team worked extremely hard with many challenges and obstacles to overcome. My contribution to the team consisted of creating and maintaining episode 2 and in charge of the character Mark throughout the project. I also helped other group members with their pieces from the storyboard, creation, editing, and keeping on track with the group deadlines. I feel very proud of what we have achieved as a team and will highly recommend this class to anyone on the same path. Anna and Misa. Overall, my group members were really hardworking and diligent when we worked as a group or independently. At the beginning of the semester, the roles were assigned. We agreed on having our own deadlines and on communicating through text messages. All these aspects helped us work effectively. One aspect that we had some problems with was communication. Since we could not meet in person and we had different schedules, we had to work harder on staying in communication with each other. My contribution to the group has consisted of maintaining and editing episode 4, working on the character Kate, editing anything that needed fixed, and contributing with the animation of the project. Haley Miller. As a member of Dream Team, I am confident in saying that each of our group members have grown as students and as future managers this semester. Working on a group project for an online class was not something I would ever say I enjoyed. But this project has tested each of our abilities, and I am very proud of the work we have done. At the beginning of the semester, we divided up all the work and assigned each member a specific role, so we all had the opportunity to equally contribute to the project. We have had various communication issues throughout the semester, but I believe we worked through each of those problems, and we all have contributed to the best of our abilities. We communicated primarily through a group text message, which was not always the easiest, but it taught us patience and how to be more aware of how our actions can affect others. My contribution to this project has been creating the script for episode 6 and animation for episodes 5 and 6. I helped develop the character Kate and Angel, and I participated in the final booklet and in editing and reviewing our final project. References Beyond.com, Finger Puppet Management TV YouTube channel, and our textbook. Down below are some links to episode 1 through 7.